Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging radical equation for the real values of x. So let's get it started. I will rationalize our denominator. So I will write seventh root of the denominator's conjugate. So I will write a square root x square plus one plus x. In the denominator, I will write square root x square plus one minus x, and then our numerator is square root x square plus one plus x. Similarly, for the second term, I will write minus seventh root of the denominator's conjugate. So this time it will be square root x square plus one minus x over square root x square plus one plus x times square root x square plus one minus x. And right hand side is two. Now you can see a minus b times a plus b, a plus b times a minus b. So we can write our denominator using difference of two squares identity: square root x square plus one whole square minus x whole square. Now square root and square will be over. So we can write x square plus one minus x square. So these two terms will get over. We will get our denominator one. So our equation will become seventh root of square root x square plus one plus x minus seventh root of square root x square plus one. Minus x equal to two. Now we can take this minus sign into this radical. So we will multiply our radicand with minus one. So we'll get seventh root of x plus square root x square plus one as it is plus seventh root of X minus square root of x square plus one equal to two. Now we will consider first radicand equal to a power seven, second radicand equal to b power seven. So let's write a power seven plus b power seven value. So a power seven is x plus square root x square plus one. B power seven is x minus a square root x a square plus one. Let's add. So we can write a power seven plus b power seven will be equal to two times x. Now I will check product also. So I can write a power seven times b power seven. So here we have to multiply this bracket with this bracket. So we are free to use difference of two squares formula. So I can write x whole square minus square root x square plus one whole square. Again, we can cancel a square with a square root. So we can write x square minus x square minus one. These two terms will be over. We'll get negative one. So I can write. A B whole power seven equal to negative one or negative one whole power seven. So for real A B, once we will take seventh root, we will get A B equal to negative one. So two important equations we have. Now we can write our original equation. So I can write here seventh root of a power seven plus seventh root of b power seven equal to two. Seventh root and power seven will be over. So we will get our third equation, a plus b equal to two. So 
or let us say this is equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 let me write all the equations here a power 7 plus b power 7 equal to 2x second equation was a b equal to negative 1 third equation was a plus b equal to 2 now i will consider a squaring of this equation so a plus b whole square is equal to 2 whole square and then we will take up cubing both sides so let me write here a plus b whole cube equal to 2 cube let's use algebraic formula a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 times a b equal to 4 now a b is equation number 2 negative 1 so i can write a square plus b square plus 2 times negative 1 equal to 4 or a square plus b square minus 2 equal to 4 add 2 to both sides we will get a square plus b square equal to 6 now cubing of the equation i will write here a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b in the bracket a plus b equal to 8 we can write a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a b is negative 1 a plus b is 2 equal to 8 or we can write a cube plus b cube minus 6 equal to 8 so we'll add 6 to both sides we'll get a cube plus b cube equal to 14 so we have a plus b 2 a square plus b square 6 a cube plus b cube 14 now i will calculate the product of both a square plus b square times a cube plus b cube equal to 6 times 14 so our rhs will be 84 now let's multiply term by term a square times a cube a power 5 plus b square times b cube b power 5 now cross product so i will write here a square b cube plus a cube b square so let us take a square b square common so in the bracket we can have a plus b so from here i can write a power 5 plus b power 5 plus a b was minus 1 whole square a plus b was 2 equal to 84 or i can write a power 5 plus b power 5 and then we'll write minus 1 square is plus 1 times 2 we'll get 2 84 so our a power 5 plus b power 5 will be equal to 82 now i will write formula for a power 7 plus b power 7 so i can write here this is equal to a power 6 plus b power 6 times a plus b so here we are getting a power 6 here we are getting b power 6 so cross product is also there which we will take away so we will write a b times a power 5 plus b power 5 now we have to apply all the values so a power 6 plus b power 6 is not known but what we know it is a cube plus b cube equal to 14 so we can consider squaring both sides so i can write a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 2 times a cube b cube 
equal to 14 square 196. So a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 2 times minus 1 whole cube equal to 196. So a power 6 plus b power 6 minus 2 will be equal to 196. So I can write here conclusion a power 6 plus b power 6 will be equal to 198. So here we are going to write 198, here we are going to write 2, here we are going to write minus 1 AB value and A power 5 plus B power 5 was 82. Left hand side was 2x. Let's plug in all the values. Let me write equation once. Here it is. Now we will write a power 7 plus b power 7, 2x equal to a power 6 plus b power 6, 198 times this was a plus b. So we will write 2 minus a times b was negative 1, a power 5 plus b power 5, 82. So I can write here 198 times 2 minus times minus becomes plus and then we will write 82. LHS is 2x. So 2x is equal to 198 times 2 and we can write 82 as 41 times 2. Now equation is divisible by 2. So let's divide both sides by 2. So we can write x is equal to 198 we will cancel these two numbers from the numerator denominator plus 41. So we can write our answer 198 plus 41 which will give us 239. So this is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care of yourself.